Hello everyone, this is a new session where Sam, Paul, myself, you know, continue our uh, development sessions on OData Neo. Sam, how are you doing today? Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Glad That's to good. see you again. It's good to see you too, brother. It's good to see you too. Okay, so I know that, you know, we we got to a point where we have a prototype. So let me kind of share my screen here. We have a prototype. And this prototype basically is all around, you know, our ability to kind of, you know, run an end-to-end -end piece, right? And we ran into some uh, issues along the way. We discovered that there is a, a little problem with um, uh, the uh, uh, the the uh, the code that is basically processing. You know, let me kind of show the draft PR here real quick. You know, it should show us specifically the issues that we're having here. So let's just go here, GitHub. Let's go to OData real quick. Here is OData Neo. Cool. And then uh, the working prototype, right? And the working prototype is basically around the changes for... Uh, we basically created just a dummy list. And then on the O expression service, we had to basically add this additional condition that says unless unless the projected type is um, uh, unless this, yeah is a property type, then you won't be able to do anything with it. And I think that's the only change other than just adding the execute function, which you shared last time. You know, which is great function. We just had to add this and uh, uh, the execute execute function on top of this apply odata query async which is basically the client the exposure layer so here's what we need to do sam we need to write a, a test i need to give you a failing test that confirms this case mm -hmm. because obviously like you know we missed something in our unit tests that basically is supposed to kind of tackle this particular this particular problem okay let's let's go ahead in here let me pull out the a, a brand new branch from main here is my visual studio let's sync up the changes here we go and we want to basically go ahead and um, see, I'm going to create a new branch here. This will be a, a medium fix. So users, Hassan, Habib, medium fix, dash, uh, medium fix, dash, uh, 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 the foundation service. So this is for the expression. This will be the O expression uh o expression filter on property o expression filter property okay so we need a test that fails that says hey i expected you only to process you know so if i go to o expressions in here o expression service down here there it is this is where the problem is right we need another condition in here that says oh in addition to that you need to make sure that the child has a property and that this property is or, or the type of this child is is a property so where's the test for this guy let's find out so let me do a quick rebuild here mm, so there are 16 references yeah there and then we can go to the logic here is the logic test and in the logic test we basically went and said uh let's see so we have this token and this token has a raw value select and then random property o token now if we go inside this one it seems that we're automatically creating property right but what i'm gonna do now is that i'm gonna mix those right i need to mix these o token uh, o tokens with a different uh, uh type of o token so he's he's will this here will basically create random non-property O tokens. For each and every one of those, I need to pick up a randomized 
you know, kind of a, a, a piece of, of, of uh, the enum that basically says this is actually a non property. So how do we do that? Right. There is a way for us to kind of go and say, I want an enum that is not a particular property. Let me go find that real quick because I have that in 50 different location. <laughs> Really, I have this like, that's the beauty when you standardize code, you can find a lot of instances where you can find many, many, many instances that kind of really resembles, you know, the, um, you know, I can probably come up with that code off the top of my head, but I want to make sure that I'm also, uh, let's see here. Give me a second. Uh, let's see. So generating a random enum, basically generating a random enum, just trying to find a good instance. Uh, let me find some tests in here. I know you can't see this yet. Actually, in fact, I think we do have this somewhere even here in this very project right here. Give me a sec. So in OSQL tests, if I do watch this, Sam, you might find this entertaining. If you do control, uh, not control dot, uh, if you do control comma, it will open up a generic search. Uh, unfortunately, you can't see it. I don't know. You can't see it. Yeah, it won't. It won't. It won't show it to you because um, it's uh, a. <laughs> it's a. Uh, Maybe you can share the whole screen. If I shared, okay, you want to see? If I shared the whole screen, you won't be able to see anything. Let me show you. But it's too big, right? Yeah, it's 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 forty nine inch. Look, that's the whole screen. <laughs> You won't be able to see anything, <laughs> so that's the problem, right? Let me uh, let me switch back. So here's this, and then okay, control comma. Well, just just remember that I told you control comma is um, is really really kind of gets you the <laughs> gets you the the any type, any file, any class, anything at all when you're searching in Visual Studio. Okay, let's see here. Uh, I'm just gonna search for a couple of other things because I have a bunch of projects that have this idea. I just wanna, wanna find the right one, bear with me. If you bear with me, we'll be able to find it. Really? Where did it go? Huh. I'm actually surprised. It should be. Uh, there should be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It should be. There should be many, many of these. Maybe it's an O triple S. I'm gonna search with you, so just so you don't. You know, you're you're staying with me here. Let me go back here. Man, I'm surprised. This is. I, I'm probably just using a different terminology. You know, that's all mm -hmm. that it is. But let me see. O triple S. O triple S should also have one. You know, um, code. There it is. Get invalid exam type. Something like this, right? Something very similar to that. Wow. See, that's the visit effect, right? So we can have something very similar to this. Basically, I want a particular value. Well, it's not exactly that too. I still want a well, this, this kind of works, but there is ones that I have also that can just do it for me. So bear with me. Uh, let's see. So we have a lot of enums. That means we're going to find a lot of tests that have the... Yeah, there it is. Get so invalid enum. enum. Member? Do you remember the enum member name? Yeah, so, so you see how this says get invalid enum? I want to basically get a valid enum here. 
So there is this guy. This guy is a great piece of code that can do this. We're just going to modify it a little bit. Yeah. But it's invalid, you know. Yeah, yeah, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. <laughs> It's it's really it's really small change. It's not 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 that big. Okay, so let's go here. So this will say git enum. That is not, and this is not the value uh, uh, exception. This is the exception. All right. So we're basically saying give me all the the enumerators, the enumeration values that doesn't match this particular this particular value. So now the only thing that I want to do here is just to set up the range, right? And the range here is, uh, uh, let's see, the range is the the beginning and the end of that enum, right? So so whatever that enum is, we want to get the, uh, this will work like this because we're basically just generating a, Let's see, get values dot length, right? And you have the beginning of this. So I'm basically going and saying, give me a value that is between zero, right? And, and the length of this. So enum values uh, minus one, something like that. The name's a name. Yeah. You know, uh, values, it doesn't make, yeah. Max, doesn't, doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah, enum length. Makes sense. Also, we need the type to make sense. So this is an int. And what is this guy? Enum length, uh, a static function. Oh, yeah, you can't do. Yeah, and that's fine. I can just go and do this. Because this is like that. And then I can just say, hey, give me something between these two values like this, right? What that basically means is I can take this down, I can take this down like this, Let's make sure things are a little pretty. And let's see, enum length minus one, yeah. And then here we're saying while is defined, type off is true, no, that's not what we want. While, while uh, 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 the value of that enum, this value of enum here, so that's t to that random number, is equivalent to the exception, then go ahead and generate again. That's basically what I'm saying. Right. What that basically means is that we need to continue to generate that number here. Continue to get that value, basically. Right. Yeah, the random number is a. Mm. What's the type of random number? We you cannot to cast the random number to a uh, to type of t. We should be able to if we define where t is enum. No. Won't let you? Ah, uh, that sucks. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, T random number. Let me go back to the code here real quick. How did we do this? Oh, T object random number. That's right. Check this out. It's weird, but that's how we... So T object random number. So this whole cast here, this is one cast. So this is a T of this. Oops, I the best is it it says you you cannot use in the Yeah, you you should, you should be able to between random number and the exception? Yeah, you should be able because to. Because there's no definition for the. Yeah, what's it say? Uh, yeah, it says this is operator applied. Uh, operator cannot be applied to appraisals of type T and T. T and T. Maybe yeah. 
where t uh, implement i equality equal 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 equality yeah so hold on so objects just just verifying so t for this number uh, random number uh if i say this is let's see here mm -hmm. we can always go and say enum dot is defined and then uh we put t here and we put the random number here so that's the value right no you cannot put a t <clears throat> maybe a type of type, t. Of, type of that's right <clears throat> right and then we want to go and say if this is defined but we also want to get the value of it so we want to say i wonder if there's like get value enum dot get value uh there you go get value there's get values but i won't get value mm -hmm. right uh parse of e What's inside that parse? The value, right? So that's the random number. That's the enum. And then we're basically saying equal, equal exception. Should work, right? Because this parse will return a T. Mm -hmm. Now, why is this guy mad? Argument cannot convert int to char. Why is it thinking? Uh, yeah, why is it thinking? Why is, why is it thinking char? Because it's it's parsing a stringified version of that enum right that's why it's freaking out it's basically it's basically saying give me a, a stringified value of the enum now let me just say let's do this sam let's go here let's do this uh get enum value from number i tried to catch up with you <laughs> You try to add? Catch up with you. You catch up with me? Okay. Let's see here. Uh, I want C sharp though, not this weird. Ah, let's see. C sharp. Get enum from value. So C3 is your next language for for <laughs> C3. <laughs> right. Oh, so that gives you the name. How do you? Mm, so we have to, this, we have to say. Um, let me just tell you this. You know, generic generic enum changes the exception type to string. Yeah, then you can use that to compare. Okay, let me try one thing, and then mm. we'll do that. Here you can see there's a real uh, limitation. Struct. Event. It's yeah. like convertible. Let's try this. But uh, I think we need an uh, I equitable, right? Do we have the? I don't know where T is struct. Right. So if T is struct, oh. then. Uh huh? Equitable. Equitable. It... And I have this already somewhere else. Yeah, the let's see here. Hey Paul, uh, look up uh, look look up how to well I have an answer to this, but uh, let's see here. What up Ash? Hey, how you doing? Good. Did he oh, he's starting now. Huh? Echo. Echo. Oh. I don't have an echo. Do you have an echo? I think it's Ash. Nope, I've got an echo. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we at? I thought we were just um, releasing it, right? I thought it was done. Oh, no, we, we still had to do the, um, the exposure bit, right? Yeah, and also random number. We have to fix the uh, no, not just the exposure bit. We have to fix the uh, um, the uh, what do you call it? The 
uh, the, the failing test, my friend. We need a failing test that says, oh, actually go look for properties. Remember that part? Uh, oh, that weird scenario that we found at the end, uh, middle of last week. Yeah, when, remember. When, when you put together that like prototype idea thing, you broke it, didn't you? Is that right? Am I, am I thinking the right thing here? What do you? What? <laughs> go on, go on, give me the whole. God, you never pay attention. You don't listen to anything I tell you. <laughs> I, I, I can't deal. With so, random that. number is an in integer, right? Yeah, and and if the so, team... uh, the inner dot get values written uh an area of the inner member, save it to uh array, and retrieve the the inner member using the random number. It's a uh, this here should do this trick. I have no idea why it's not. This here should say this is mapped up to T. And that should be the equivalent of whatever this value is. Just for the just for the concern of time to prove my point, if I go up in here, and I say, hey, this is supposed to be a value of this. Mm. And whatever comes back is supposed to be this and this. This all will work just fine. Watch this. It will work just fine. Mm. But the problem is I want to make this generic because we're going to use it in two places. And I solved this before, but I got old and stupid. So I'm trying to kind of pick up, um, um, pick up what I'm missing. I'm missing something really tiny. Just Paul, just so you understand, we're basically saying I'm passing in a generic enum value in here, yeah. and I want to make saying that... the errors. The error here, the error here is saying the operator equal equal cannot be applied to operands of type T and T. Uh, so it doesn't Commercial know if it can T. do equality on an unknown type. Is that because of the? Um, cast that you've got in there for object um, i i tried i tried to take this away try also, try put the real uh, constraint again here is struct an i convertible like this not i convertible right but what do you want to say you just i struct what's the error message no no now no no now it's an error message for the equality is gone Right. Good. It says Wait. cannot convert type int. Oh, so if I put object in here, would it be happy? Isn't nope. Isn't uh, enum dot get value? Isn't, isn't that isn't that a generic? Can't you just put t in there? Enum dot get values. Yeah. Um, yeah. One oh six. Line one oh six. Right. So if I go get values like this, yeah. right, of type t. Right, it doesn't have an overload. I can't pass that random number here. It doesn't no, tell me. the get values return an array. So put the number like this. Put the num number in here, like here. Does it yeah, work? No, I, I was on about line What's one. What's the message for that? The error message you're saying, T. Well, if we do okay, hang on, hang on. If we do this, yes, maybe it'll shut up, right? What's an error message? Error message now says cannot apply indexing with an expression of type. So what's the get values values return? No, no, no. Hang on, hang on. This is just a type array. So I need to basically say get value of random number. But this is a really garbage solution because and and then again, I have to map it to T here, which yes, is yes. really horrible. No, 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 no. Even Maybe. even T here doesn't work because if I do T, I have to do object in here. Maybe, nope. <laughs> this is this is ridiculous. Okay, just think about it for a second because I have a solution for it somewhere. I just don't. I need to find it. <laughs> so so let's see here. Um, yeah, right. Uh, Split uh, line one hundred six into two lines. Separate line one. One hundred six. One hundred six. Yeah. What about it? So enum dot get values of type of t. Give it a it's a name. Give it it's a name. A, okay. Yeah. 
like just this guy alone, right? Yeah. Are something equal, okay? What's a type of something? So this is uh, enum uh, array. It's an array, I told you. It's, it's an array. array, okay? So now we have the... Um, it should be uh, T, black T array, right? Uh, is it uh, it returns no it just returns array just okay, array it's okay. and we get the random I number can make it into list uh, sam can we make it a list nope you can't you can As so maybe... now we have a random number uh between the zero and the inner length minus one right and now we can get the the um uh, a random number, a random, yeah, a random number, in a number from this in an array, right? Right, right. So let's do that. Insert a line after 113. So we can say in a number using the random number, in an array. Can I, can I just point array. out how hmm. confusing this method is? It's named get enum that is not t. T that's passed in is named exception as a variable, and you're saying where T derives from struct, which exception doesn't. I am confused as all hell right now as to what this is supposed to do. <laughs> we're trying we're trying to write a function that gives you a, an enum value. Somehow we need to figure this out in 20 minutes. Don't care how, figure it out. But you know, uh, the what we're trying to do is to basically go and say, I need a function that will generate an enum value that is not a specific value because we're trying to generate values that are not properties. Do you understand me? Generate an enum value that's not a specific value. But yes. is it from a set or is it just a random value? It's a, it's a random value within a set of the allowable enum array. So you've got an enum and you want to pick randomly one value from the enum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's finish the, this line. 115. Okay, go ahead, right. Sam. I'll let you drive. Go ahead. Give us an, it's a T, uh, uh, T a name. Give T a name. Yeah, give, uh, the, put the random number into the into, into the place. Like this? It won't work. Yeah, and give, give us a name. If it's array. a variable name, it's a T, right? It's a very okay. T. 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 Using T. the type of T. And uh, cast uh, the return to T. It won't work. The array doesn't open up this way. You have to go and say dot array dot get. This is a different type. It's array. Array dot element. <sighs> There is no element. No element. But it has get value, and get value returns an object. Okay, so get the value. Okay. The random, random number, number here. Right? Random number. Okay. We do it this way. Maybe we can go down here and say x should be if x yeah. is equivalent to the exception. Ha! And it's not happy. What, what the exception? You can't using the exception is t. So why is that? The only thing that I can think of is to basically go and say enum, enum dot get. That's probably how I did it. Enum dot get value, get name, and this will be exception dot to string. It's really garbage, but let's just try it. And this here, me saying dot to string. Uh, Got it. What? Like that, something like that. There you go. Try that. That might work. You should copy line 115 to the while loop again. <clears throat> 115 is empty. Uh, what this one? Yeah, copy this into the while loop after random number. You get the random number in the while loop and need the x value again. 
and do the y again again right where where do you put the x so copy the line 115 after okay. line 119 recalculate the x again when you get to the random number again right oh, you need you need to re oh i see what you're saying i see what you're saying got it hmm. let's try it so i'm gonna do a just random uh test method here fact public void two. Oh, i have a much cleaner way for this but hang tight and um i've, I've sent a, a possible start point in the discord there and in the chat okay get get random enum that is not get random that is not and then i want the uh property so that's project type oh. right so what is the type that i don't want is property like that wow this thing is reading my mind so now i can test and see if it will actually yeah. do the right thing, right? So this is, I don't know, assert, assert true x does not equal that. Let's find out. So control RT. I might have somewhere where I wrote garbage code. <laughs> what do you mean yeah, uh, so <laughs> Paul copied paste as a sample code. So I think there's uh, you we can tap cast to TRA and it should work. Oh Paul? What does he know? Yeah, I ain't got a clue, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Paul, you are still working on your dinner? Yeah. It's later. I mean, I it's don't get time to stop. It's ridiculous. Okay, so this is passing. Now let's let's uh, let's try it one more time. Yeah, so this solution works. Now let's see what Paul what Paul Wardy Wardy is talking about. I think I left out. Get well. values and cast it to. T array, and now we can use in the index pattern. But yeah, once you've, got, once you've got a T array, you can just get a random one, right? But you want yes. a random one that's not equal to. Does it work though? Let's find out. <laughs> Line 106, 106. Yeah, as the array. As a T array. Right, so this is enum array. T array. And the line 115. So we can use in the index syntax. Yeah, so we can just go and say x equal. Yeah, let's take away all that. Okay. And just go here and say, hey, generate a new value. You know, right. array. Yeah, enum array of the enum uh, render enum render number. To <clears throat> string. Mm. Can, oh. uh, does, it work? does it work if we remove two string both? You, you should be able to take out both the two strings now. You think mm -hmm. so? Let's yeah. try. Let's try it. I highly doubt it, but let's try it. Nope. Uh, put a uh, we are constraint. On the struct? Yeah. That's not the problem. It's uh, it's uh it's just surprising to me. This is a value. It's supposed to be able to compare these two values. Hmm. Have, have we legit found a bug in the C sharp compiler here? <laughs> that that cannot be true, right? I love I love his British little kind of exclamation. Have we legit found a bug? <laughs> Why are you why are you talking like that? What's wrong? Because I'm you? British, mate. <laughs> As you like to say. I love I love He's it. eating his fish and chips, don't you know? <laughs> Have we legit found a bug in the C sharp compiler? 
Oh, my God. <laughs> I love Rafa. <laughs> I forgot how much being a Brit really cracks us hand up. <laughs> he, he struggles with the concept of Britishness. It's difficult oh, for him. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> The one thing I remember about England is that everyone dressed up so good. Not not some of the folks that we see in sweatpants around here, you know. Yeah, and, but and, um, and we walk on pavements all day, not sidewalks. We walk on walk on <laughs> pavements all day because we're digging in in, in caves and stones and stuff. <laughs> I, I don't know what we're doing here. So okay, so <laughs> so I know there's there's a much cleaner solution here, which I need to find, but. You know, a and we can't commit this code unless it's proper, right? Proper. Right, Paul. Well, proper, proper, proper. Uh, but I wanna, I wanna also kind of uh, stress on that this is actually doing what it's supposed to. So let me debug here. I don't understand why you can't compare a T to a T. That that, that blows just... my mind. We must yeah. be, missed, we must have missed that class. And back in 1999, when they first introduced the idea of ECMAScript, like how is this even possible you know yeah. it, it it's ridiculous i can't believe it okay, do you like, think uh, we, uh, c -sharp can know how to compare t between t apparently <laughs> not dude apparently not t you know? should give give us a uh uh condition or uh -huh. let us know how to compare between t between T's, right? Yeah. T, like, maybe put a constraint into the wheel clause as a equitable of wait, T. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. This whole thing evaluates to equals. Oh yeah, because we have a value called equals. That's right. That's right. Yeah, good, good, good. So that means that from the first time it actually did it. Nice. What were you guys saying? I'm sorry, I went a thousand miles away. What were you saying, Sam? I, I, I haven't tried that, but maybe we can put a, a real constraint of the structure. Another uh, comma, comma, uh huh. Comma, I quotable of T. I quotable. E equitable. Equitable. Oh, equ e equatable. 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 Yeah. You're killing me. Okay. And you move to string. <laughs> and what? Remove two strings. Why do we do that? Equatable. Equatable. Okay. Equatable. Still doesn't like it. Guys, do we even know C sharp this morning? Uh, apparently not. No, apparently ask, not. Ask, <laughs> teach us C sharp, mate. I mean, hang on. We know hang what on a second. Is, so if right? I say I just... void bar B, hold on. If I say void bar T. T of T, if T equal equal, and I have just some random X in here. It's because you're using struct. No, it's, no. I just I, I, I just looked up. Struct doesn't have double equals and not equals to, so it won't let you use it with a T unless you're saying like they're both a class. My man, I am not here using struct. No, not and here. It works here. Wait a second. Look, it yeah, works here. It's the other here. one that has mentions about struct. Okay, let's throw away struct. Let's listen to Ash. But wait a second, it just worked. Hey, in I here. Googled this. I'm Why not this far into CGR yet. I Googled it. <laughs> it what? Is this you running the bloody Visual Studio stuff on it a could potato be, it could again? Be, it could be Visual Do you Studio. need to upgrade to the Mac Pro? Dude, oh, wait, I mean, stuff. hold on, hold on a second. Hold on. <laughs> Paul, watch this. This is airing out, right? I'm gonna what change code in on? another function, and somehow everything is gonna work out. For everybody hold on wait for it scoot on okay. up up and down i don't believe visual i don't believe anyone anymore i don't believe anyone <laughs> i don't believe visual studio <laughs> what is going Dude. on <laughs> what the heck is going on here <laughs> this is this is such a a, a terrible stream <laughs> i just don't know what were you saying ash the take away the struct what if i say t is type or class so apparently class has double equals and not equals this to, works. but struct does not. So the compiler won't let you use it if you're not saying it's a class. Yikes. 
Isn't it supposed to be by default a class? Oh, where T is a class is works. Where T is class works. I feel like we need to get one of the Rosling guys in. However, about how C sharp works. Listen, listen. That's not gonna work in here because we want it to be a a an enum. An enum is not a class. My brain is broken. I can't believe this. Everything derives from objects, so enums are objects. Enums are structs, and structs are not classes. Structs don't but, have double, like but, equals and not equals to. Apparently, you can no implement object. it on them, but you don't have them by default. Ob object is the fundamental base of all things C sharp, isn't it? Oh, you're 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 talking about different things. <clears throat> Why is it not liking enum here? Because enum isn't a type. Okay, listen. Two string works, but it's not gonna be the one that I'm pushing upstream to the to the. I just wanna, I just wanna write a failing test in two minutes, basically. So let's see here. This goes out. This is good. Let's go back to the test here. And what I'm gonna do in the test is that. Uh, oh, I needed to generate. I needed to generate a a a random non property. Right, so this here will go and say get, get random, get enum that is not, right? And the type of this guy is o token type dot property. So that will basically say you can't generate. Give me something random, but it can't be o token uh, property. Basically, the same thing applies here. So I'm basically saying get enum is not that is not. Uh, and this is, and we can simplify this, of course. That's cool. And uh, we can just do this. So it's inf inferring the type. It's inferred. Cool. So that will give me a random non-property O tokens, which means that I can go back to our logic here and say, hey, remember that list of tokens that you were doing and all that cool stuff? I'm going to have to merge these together. So now you're not always going to end up with the the raw values that you expect to get, you know, in these tokens. So I'm just going to go here and say list o token uh, random non property o tokens and I don't care about the other one. Like I'm going to ignore this one here. And I'm going to say create random non property tokens. What am I missing here? Let's see. This is list O tokens random non property. There you go. So this is me ignoring because I don't care about these raw values really. Right? So now I want to merge these. So these here, uh, where does this guy go originally? In the children. So I'm gonna go and say concat and cat and then random non property tokens like that what does this do this returns an i enumerable and this guy's expecting a list so let's just do this okay so if that's the case then the list that's coming in now you are forced to actually uh filter a uh, non-property because i'm basically saying my expected value is all the raw property values that are coming out you won't be able to do with anything else. So now this test should properly fail. Should fail proper. Don't get all British now. <laughs> proper. That's my thing. What is he saying? Does anyone even know what this guy is saying? Ever. Some. Sorry, I brought my translator this week. Uh, Half the time I ignore what he's saying too. Don't worry about it. <laughs> there are okay. words. I just can't say them on stream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. So this here is saying should be expected expression. I just want this guy to break on a condition. Give me a sec. If it doesn't break on the condition, I'm going to be sad. Yeah, there you go. So this is technically a failing test that will force us to put that where clause, right? 
the one thing I'm asking people to do is to find out why actual expression, why now it's getting two different values of expressions for whatever reason. Like right now it's failing at the wrong stuff. Like it's, it's failing at the right stuff, but also the wrong stuff, which is not good. Let's go here. Uh, yeah, it's saying null to be, but found null. Let's investigate this this time. I'm going to push this branch. Uh, Sam, fix this. Mm -hmm. So this is this test here. Fail. Make this test pass, my friend. And I'll see you tomorrow. Cool? cool. Okay. You see, you see the branch name? No, I haven't. Just... Filter property. Okay. Okay, I think fixing that test will will tell us that the foundation is done, that the services part is done. And then next session, if this test is passing, if Sam, you figure it out, the only thing that we need to do is to build the exposure layer. And then we're all set for publishing an, our, our alpha release. Mm -hmm. Questions, comments, concerns? You good? What are all these comments in the... He get ran. Oh, that's Paul. I'm, I'm still that's testing Paul. your. Now he pays attention. Get render. Oh, <laughs> you know, is not a T. <laughs> Paul, oh, Paul, world. Okay, friends, I'll talk to you later. Okay, take care. Thank you. Have a good.